when we're talking about a, a managed approach to handling a motor vehicle accident, one of the questions people have right away is, you know, should I get a lawyer? And often that question is, is asked to the counselor, which is kind of an interesting thing. I believe that people should seek professional consultation in any area of specialty. If you have a problem with your shoulder, you should see a shoulder specialist. If you are engaged in a legal process, you should probably consult a lawyer. You should speak to potentially even more than one. It is imperative, really important, for you to find a lawyer that fits. And I'm going to very briefly detail for you what I would consider the gold standard when it comes to choosing a lawyer. This by no means is an exhaustive list or says that other lawyers who don't do this uh, are in some way not as good. I don't mean that. What I'm looking at is this is what I believe is optimal for providing what a person needs to recover their quality of life and function. There is a choice of a lawyer that distinctly influences this. So here's the insider info on that. When you're injured in a motor vehicle accident, ICBC has an obligation to provide support to you. Now, that obligation is not as straightforward as it sounds. I recommend consulting with a lawyer to get all the ins and outs of it. I'm not here to provide legal advice. However, I can tell you that the ultimate burden of responsibility for getting better is on the victim.